Well, in this week's poll, we asked who you would vote for if a general election was called. And of the people polled, we found that 53% of voters would favour a Labour leadership as opposed to 14% for the Tories. We also asked who 2019 Conservative voters would prefer as the next Prime Minister. Boris Johnson led the polls uh, with 38%. Rishi Sunak came in second with 20%. And finally, we found the word shambles is what comes to mind when people hear of the Conservative Party. Uh, well, let's talk to Professor of Politics, Matt Goodwin, who's here in the studio. Matt, morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Um, look, this is very interesting, isn't it? In, in the sense that, let's look at Boris, first and foremost. In terms of those who voted Tory in, in 2019, yeah. it's interesting that Boris is still the big appeal for them. Now, that then obviously plays into what we're going to see this coming week. Well, he is. He's still got some star power among those 2019 Conservatives. And if you look at where the Conservative Party is today, what it really needs to do more than anything is try and put back together, like Humpty Dumpty, that coalition that it won in 2019 that allowed it to dismantle the Red Wall. Uh, and when you ask those 2019 Conservatives who they want to see, I mean, it's not even close. Boris Johnson is nearly 20 points ahead of Rishi Sunak, who's in second, Penny Morden a distant third. Now, when you ask all voters in the country, Rishi Sunak has a slight lead, a two, three-point lead. But among those Conservatives, Boris Johnson is ahead. Mm -hmm. We were just speaking to our newspaper review viewer, David Meller, who was saying that, you know, we don't have a presidential system. It is down to the party. It's the party that is voted for, not the person. Uh, but the, these results here would indicate that a lot is the personality of Boris Johnson. That is what makes him a winner. And that's why, according to these results, people want to see him back. I think... Some people want to see him back. I've been talking to MPs much of this week. What they are deeply alarmed about is just how low the Conservative vote is falling. I can't mm -hmm. begin to explain uh, how disastrous this is for the Conservative Party. On 14% of the vote, it is the lowest share of the vote for the Conservative Party in British polling history. We've never seen anything like this before. It's an extinction level event if this happens at a general election. So the party is facing the most important decision, really, that it's, that it's faced for a very long time. Who's going to pick up the reins and try and put this back together? And that's why many MPs, particularly in the Red Wall, other areas are saying, look, they accept that a, l a large part of the country don't really like Boris Johnson and they see him as quite a toxic personality. But there is another view within the party that says, well, if they're going to potentially lose the next election, Anyway, why not try and minimise some of those losses? Why not try and at least keep uh, some of those seats that Boris Johnson, in their eyes, won for them in 2019? Yes, 